Hey guys, before I get on to my guide for today, let me ask you this question. Have you ever thought about whether the way you're making money on the Infinite Black is the best way of doing that? Well, I'm going to answer that question today by telling you why I think it's the most effective way of making credits. Now, if you've asked anyone else on this game what is the best way of making money, then they've probably told you farming, farming, farming. You may be wondering where exactly is farming? Well, the word itself is a bit misleading since when we say farming, we don't actually mean farming with crops and stuff and growing strawberries or anything like that. By farming, what we mean is attacking non-player characters or NPCs, which is a shortened term, uh, and using the dropped resources to sell to starports. Well, the only resources you can sell are organics, gas, metals, radioactives and dark matter. Where organics are worth the least, dark matter are worth the most, and metals are the most common for NPCs to drop. And also metals can be used to heal yourself while you're farming, so that also comes in handy. Now ask yourself this question. Should I be farming in a grey area, or should I be farming in a black area? Well, let me tell you this. If you said yes to that question, then you probably should be farming in the grey area, mostly because you won't be able to handle the strength of the NPCs in the black area just yet. If you said no to that question, then you're probably capable of farming in the black area. But bring a friend or two. I'll tell you why in a moment. Well, why should you only be farming in a grey area if you're a new player? Well, for starters, the NPCs aren't that strong. In fact, they're fairly weak. It even says weak in the name of each NPC in the grey area. Well, since they're weak NPCs, they, dro they don't drop as many resources as in the black. Therefore, you won't make as, as many credits per hour as you would if you were farming in the black area with a friend or two. However, with that in mind, you should only be farming in a grey area once again because you won't because you be able to face the NPCs in the black area and so you'll probably die straight away or if you are with a few friends you hardly get anything because you won't be able to attack as strong as you should if you're entering the black. Personally, I only farm in the black area, mostly because the NPCs drop more resources and therefore I'm able to make more credits an hour. Also, I tend to farm around the Alliance planet and any other friendly garrisons there are, mostly because if I do get attacked by a strong NPC or I or I get hit by lots of uh, players who love to PvP like murder, merc, distant franchise or anything like that, then I can always go run for cover to the Alliance planet since the Alliance planet themselves can heal other friendly members of that alliance. Even Cyric, the lead developer of the game, Himself quoted, server side metrics show players who group, depending on size and makeup, pull in between two and a half times and eight times more credits per hour than players who solo. If you want to know where I got that quote from, then please click the link in the description below. Now let's talk about the equipment itself. Now first of all, you're probably going to want a big enough ship that will be able to contain a good weapon, a good hull, a good storage, stuff like that. It doesn't even have to be that big that it's able to PvP itself. Just big enough so that you won't end up dying every time you meet an NPC. Let's start off with weapons. What is better, a faster weapon with low damage, or a slower weapon with high damage? Now this is mainly about preference, but myself I prefer a faster weapon with low damage, for example a screamer, for farming. Here's why. For starters, if you were to hit an NPC with a pulverizer, and then they only had 3 HP left, then you're gonna have to wait another 17 seconds until you can attack them again. However, if you had a Screamer and they had 3 HP left, then all you had to do was wait 3 seconds until you can attack them. Secondly, it doesn't matter as much if you miss with a fast weapon compared to a slow weapon. I mean, you'd rather miss if you had to wait for 3 seconds for an attack, rather than waiting 17 seconds for an attack, wouldn't you? And so, missing an attack with a Pulverizer could actually make a big difference to who's actually going to win the battle or not, whether it be for farming or PvP. The Screamer also seems to be a less risky gun to use for those reasons. However, if you do get a critical hit with a pulverizer, then that can make a much bigger difference compared to if you get a critical hit with a Screamer. And also, if you look at the weapon bonuses and compare the pulverizer and the Screamer, the pulverizer actually has a higher hit rate bonus, meaning that you're more likely to hit the enemy compared to if you're using a Screamer or any other weapon. Now let's move on to storage. Now, you're going to want as much storage as possible, that way you can hold as many metals and other resources as possible, meaning that you won't have to waste time going to the starport all the time, so, meaning that you have more time for farming. As for the hull, 
it doesn't really matter how much you have as long as you have a good weapon and storage so you can see I'm running about 3.3k of hull however you probably don't want to have a hull solo that is under 3k or 2.5k just just in case you do get hit by a lot of people who love the PvP or by 4 NPCs which can happen but is actually quite unlikely in the video of me playing I'm using a 7 EP weapon, if you don't know what EP means, it means equip points, bigger ship means bigger equip points, etc, etc. Um, a 2 EP hull, and a 1 EP storage. Although my use of 1 EP storage might actually go against what I'm saying, um, I'm actually able to hold 35 of each resource, which is not bad, but it could be better, and it's alright for me for now. So that's the end of my guide to making credits. If you like any of what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy tipping.